there's so many um, places to start when trying to describe Judge Thompson. Uh, the thing that comes most to mind is her empathy. And I think she brings that virtue and that quality to everything she does, whether it's her involvement in the community or whether it's to her work um, on the bench. She has an uncanny ability to, uh, to walk in the shoes of others, to understand their perspectives, and then to apply that um, to the work that she's doing, whether it be the law or, or her community work. And that virtue of empathy is, um, permeates throughout Judge Thompson's life. She was the first female judge um, in the Rhode Island court system ever. Um, and then when she was appointed to the Court of Appeals, believe it or not, of the five states that make up the First Circuit, she was the only person of color in any judicial capacity at all. Circuit Court judge, district court judge, magistrate judge in any of the, the states, and she was, she was the first. Um, so she has been a trailblazer for a long time and we're thankful for it. When I really look back, having been born in 1951, I think about the fact that Brown versus Board of Education wasn't even decided until 1954. And so I grew up in a very segregated community that was actually the equivalence of the apartheid system in South Africa. And I grew up in South Carolina, and when Brown versus uh, education was decided, the political attitude in South Carolina was that we won't even comply with that until hell freezes over. That was a direct quote. Judge Thompson has uh, spent a career um, ensuring that um, the worth and the dignity, as the YMCA talks about, of all individuals um, are respected and included. Um, she's worked hard with just the beginning organization to ensure that a diverse group of uh, people of color throughout the country get access to law clerks' um, ships. And looking back, I look way back, and I just think about the, the years spent trying to once again, overcome some of those obstacles, trying to stay positive, trying to move forward, trying to lead the American dream that if you work hard, you can achieve success. And then coming upon a reflection of where I am now and realizing that probably when I was a little girl growing up, Having achieved the position as a circuit court of appeals judge, I'm not sure if that would have been part of my vision, but the things that people helped me to prepare for certainly have helped me get to where I am now. And I'm forever grateful for the people who fought for me and on whose shoulders I stand. The fact that we're honoring Judge Thompson at this time in her life and in her career um, is just fabulous. And it's particularly awesome that the YMCA would honor her because she has, she has lived the philosophy of the Y, um, and that is to recognize the inherent worth um, in all people um, and to celebrate diversity, um, part of the YMCA's um, uh, philosophy.